But can you seriously see, or can you tell me how you see Tony Blair going to Bertie Heron and saying, listen, Bertie, I'm going to introduce this new little clause. We're going to change the agreement which we made, which we have enshrined in legislation. We're not going to we're change it. We're not changing it. the agreement. And I think we should be quite clear about this. What we're looking at is ways of achieving it. Because what would be quite unacceptable is to have an agreement which promised peace and democracy turned into something quite different, yes. turned into but, something but, but that enshrined... But it would enshrined require legislation, would it not? It would require a change to the Good Friday legislation because nowhere in the Good Friday legislation does it say that Sinn Féin have to uh, get rid of IRA let's, weapons. Let's they have not. to use their best offices. No, that's, what that's it says. quite wrong. You're quite, quite wrong about that. And you mustn't peddle these myths because it's no more than a myth. The Good Friday Agreement commits all the parties to achieve to yeah, achieve by disarmament. whatever offices they can use. They, and Sinn Féin will well, say of course they're it doing does. that. Sinn Féin will say it they're does. doing that. No, they're, they, you well, are you distorting the situation, Mr. Thompson, entirely. You may and say, let me that, say Mr. Trimble. Don't but inter Sinn, Sinn Féin say that they are using their best offices. That's not me. That's Sinn Féin saying that. There's no point shouting at me. Now, are you going to be quiet for a moment? I will certainly Thank look forward you. to your answer.